Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and uh, this is my new channel about uh, books and reads and stuff like that. I haven't named it yet, so I don't know how it's going to be called. Uh, I've been thinking about doing a channel about, for about a year and a half. Uh, yeah, and I never really get uh, in front of a camera and actually film a video. I think about it, I take, I write notes and all that, but I never actually do it. And I just needed something to break the ice and something that I would call easy just to to get into into it and put myself out there. So I thought I would be doing the booktuber newbie tag. It's something that I've seen around and I thought it would be interesting to, to start with that. Um, maybe before we continue, I just want to specify that English is not my first language, so you can criticize me as much as you want. Um, but it's not, but I do read a lot of books in English that are never translated into French, so I thought I would do a second channel in English uh, for these um, particular books, uh, for this literature. So I have my notebook here with all the questions, so I'm gonna read the question and obviously answer them. So why did you start your channel? Uh, I used to be a very avid reader. I used to read about 10 books a month uh, when I was younger and in the past five years um, with work and all that if I can get to two or three books a month I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. I want to read more because I think it was very uh, interesting and I, I love that aspect of, uh, of my life um, and to, to lose that I feel like I, I lost something very important and almost um, as if I lost something uh, something from myself. Um, so I decided to, to read again and that contract uh, that I have with the world uh, would be a great way to force myself into reading more and to have objectives that I could uh, that I could reach um, every month. There's a, a second part to that answer, and it's about the creative aspect of having a, a channel. I don't do anything very creative in my professional life, and it's something that I feel is missing. Uh, I was talking with my therapist slash coach, and we thought it would be interesting for me to have a long-term creative project and not just... Um, like coloring mandalas uh, at night or, or painting some small little thing or whatever, like small projects that are interesting and that I'm going to continue to do. But I wanted something that I could build, something that would grow with time. Um, and since I wanted to do a YouTube uh, channel, since I wanted to read and since I want to learn everything about the, the editing process and all that, we thought that it would be a, a great way to, to have this creative project uh, in my life. I watch a lot of uh, YouTubers uh, about so many things, um, fountain pens, uh, books, uh, beauty, uh, um, DIYs, um, cooking, like I really watch a lot of movies and I really wanted to be part of that community as well, not just as a observer, a consumer, but also as uh, someone who who puts herself out there and, and participates in another way. So this is uh, the, the answer to that first question. Second question, something fun and unique uh, that you can bring to uh, the booktube uh, community. Um, I don't think I'm going to be unique or whatever. There are a lot of uh, very good booktubers out there who do very interesting things. But I think one of the main uh, genre, I think that's how you pronounce it in English, uh, is young adult literature. And it's not that I don't, um, well, I, I don't even know if I like it or not, but it's not necessarily the type of books that I'm going to, to read uh, instinctively. So uh, it's not going to be um, the main part of, of my channel. Um, I read more um, adult fiction, uh, non-fiction as well, essays, uh, poetry, and I read a lot of books about the places where I travel. I, I used to travel a lot for work. I don't know if it's going to be um, this way um, for, for, for the future. But I do travel a lot um, on a personal level as well. And I do like to, to read books about the place or 
uh, from that place as well. So these are things that I, I think I can bring that I don't necessarily find a lot of uh, on uh, the YouTube. And there's also the fact of speaking many languages. So I am a Francophone uh, natively. Uh, I do speak Spanish and Italian as well. And I read in those languages as well. And in English, of course. Uh, so I think it's going to be interesting to have all these influences um, in, my, in my channel. So yeah. Third question, what are you most excited about? I think it's about the, I think it's about sharing stuff with people um, and it's about receiving something as well from the people who watch my videos. Um, I've always wanted to be a part of a member of a book club and I couldn't find any here in Montreal. I didn't want to start one either. I'm too lazy. Um, but and, and I also don't want to be forced into reading a specific book and a specific uh, a month just because I'm I'm part of a of, of a book club, so I thought this would be a great way to share experiences about reading uh, without that part and also uh, share that with people from all around the world I guess, um, so yeah so that's uh, what I'm excited about I'm also very excited about all the technical aspect of editing movies and getting better at that so it's not something that I uh, apprehend on the contrary it's something I'm very curious and, and excited about. Why do you love uh, reading? I love to read because um, I love human beings but I like when human beings have gone through an editing process. Um, I think it takes all the bad stuff out of the way. <laughs> Uh, I love to read because it makes me travel, it makes me discover new things and I think it's the best way to to just get more input into your brain and learn more about yourself. Um, that's how we reason, that's how we think, by all the information and this, the, 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 the stimuli that we get uh, from, from living, from life, from other people. And reading books, just multiply this by 100 or whatever, how many books you read. But it's a, it's a great way to, to, to see, to have another perspective on life and situations and all that. To learn more about your emotions, your reactions to certain things. Um, so reading for me is, um, it's just the world, but uh, multiplied and concentrated and all that in your brain. I think it's great. I don't think I've explained myself very well, but it's okay. Uh, what book or book series got you into reading? Okay, so we have to go way, 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 way back when I was a tiny little kid and I just learned how to read. Uh, there was a series of book in French that was called La Comtesse de Ségur. Um, there were books about kids um, who were like lying or stealing stuff in the countryside and it was very moralist but I really enjoyed these books and they were not like tiny little children's books no they were actually novels um, with a couple of drawings but it's uh, I felt like really grown up reading these books even though there were stories about seven-year-olds and 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 in the countryside with our little picnic baskets but it was uh, it was a great series and there were two series about orphans that I really liked the Tillerman books from Cynthia Voigt and um, Orphan Train Adventures from John Laurie Nixon uh, I read them in French I didn't read them in English but I, I found the the actual name of the books in uh, of the series in in English so I was fascinated about the orphan figure when I was a, a kid. I think a lot of us uh, were. Um, I think it's a very common thing. But these two series were, were very interesting. I'm not going to uh, summarize the, the story uh, because I don't want to make a 45 minute video. But these were very interesting uh, series when I was a kid. Uh, a bit older when I was... Uh, a teenager there were two books that opened my mind to 
a new genre, more of a science fiction uh, type of uh, books. And I have the two books in French here, but I'm going to tell you what they are in English. So A Brave New World from Huxley. I think a lot of people have enjoyed that book, so I won't get into it. And um, René Barjavel, La Nuit des Temps, uh, in English, it's the ice people. Yeah, I think it's the ice people. Um, if you find the night of times, maybe like a, a literal translation, but the if I if I'm correct in English, it's uh, the ice people. A really great book. I read this book every two years. It's one of my favorite books of all, uh, like from everything that I've read in my life. Um, it's magical. It's beautiful. It's touching. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's a fantastic book. And I think this is why I'm fascinated by series like Stargate SG-1 and Atlantis and, and all that. And I think it's because of, of that book and that notion that um, there was a civilization uh, a long, 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 long time ago that existed that was uh, more advanced than us. Um, so yeah, great book. And another series, um, still the French version here. What was it called? Earth's Children, so a literal translation. Earth's Children from Jean M. O. 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 That. Um, a great series. Um, when, um, when I was a younger, my father and I used to go fishing every month of May or June. And we would go to Quebec City uh, to this shopping mall where they had a pen and notebook uh, shop and a bookstore and my father would buy me a pen or a notebook and a book a novel so this is one of the books that i got from one of these trips and i still have uh the note sarah with my last name um gifted by papa for fishing and um so there's a, a sentimental um, aspect to this uh, to this book, and I really I really enjoyed this um, uh, this series of books, and I think it's one of the reason I got into anthropology as well in university. Um, so you can find summar summaries of of this uh, online very easily, and a lot of people have read it. So it's uh, I don't think it's very accurate historically. Uh, but it's still very interesting. Yeah. So that was the fifth question, sixth question. What question would you ask your favorite booktuber? I, first of all, I don't think I have a favorite booktuber. And uh, I think the question that I would ask everyone is, what is the book that had the most impact on your life? What is the book that actually changed you as a human being, as a person, as a citizen? Um, not necessarily an entertaining book or uh, something like that, but really um, a life-changing book. So I think that would be my question. And the seventh question is, what are the challenges that I'm expecting um, to have with this new challenge? I think my biggest challenge would be consistency, uh, reading enough to have... Um, uh, something to say actually in my videos and not just buy books and do book hauls uh, I, I that's not necessarily what I want to do uh, not sound too rambly I wrote that in my notebook uh, yeah I think that's one of uh, the challenges that I will face uh, every time I'm in front of the camera and to have something to say actually to people and that I hope people will uh, find interesting and all that so yeah, so this is it. This was the newbie tag, the booktuber newbie tag. Um, thank you very much for listening. If you have comments, um, criticism, um, go ahead. Thank you very much. And um, I hope to see you very soon with my first uh, real video. I don't know, and I'll I'll work on the setup. Right now, I'm. I, it looks like I'm like chillaxing on my couch. I'm actually chillaxing on my couch, 
um, but I'm filming with my iPad and this was the only position where it actually stayed in place. So I'm gonna work on that, but for now I just wanted to actually do it, actually put it out there and, and to have it done. So I can say that, okay, now it's for real, I'm doing this. So thank you again and see you next time. Ciao.